It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from St. Austell Brewery and it's a bottle of their Ruby Jack Legendary Red Ale coming in at 4.6% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Just turn around then just to see if the lights are on. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Pretty good. Definitely a ruby red ale. We got a two to three finger, slightly off white head, good levels of carbonation. Ruby red, yeah, dark, mild, yes. Clear, yeah, pretty clear. Let's get the aroma. Nice bit of a biscuit malt coming through. A jammy, tart-like. Almost plum-like flavour. It smells like a typical British ruby red ale. If there ever is such a... It is a style, ruby red. I like a ruby red ale. Let's dive in. Cheers. A little bit of licorice, lots of toffee malt, biscuity, slightly nutty, toffee, licorice. Them jammy flavours are coming through on the back end, and kind of it's like a fruit jam mixed with it, maybe a, a touch of marmalade on rye going on. But easy drinking. 4.6 for St. Austell, 4.6% ABV. This is about the average kind of ABV that this brewery likes to brew at, I suppose. They're a, they're a very good brewer at brewing sessionable beers. But then again, there's beers that they produce called Big Job. And I've got a couple of Belgian beauties up there, Bad Habit and Cardinal Sin. Uh, what are they called? You've got an Abbey Double and an Abbey Triple. Not necessarily all session strength beers, but I. Uh, they're a the funny one. It's an Oslo or a funny brewery. They can produce some really, really top end beer. And then I suppose their bread and butter, which is the supermarket beers, they produce to make a living. It's, it's a make a living beer. And then the rest is just them guys showing their flair, showing their passions, showing what they can do. I, I, I've never seen this in the supermarket, to be honest with you. I've never seen it in my local supermarkets in South Wales. Perhaps you probably might see them um, down in the south southwest of England in the supermarket. I don't know. Pleasant. It's pleasant. It's nicely balanced. It's biscuit malt, sweetness. Then it goes over to being like some fruity and jammy and slightly bitter. Marmalade on rice, slightly spicy. There's lots going on. This beer says everything that it needs to say on the label. If you're a huge fan of hoppy craft beers, then, then you're going to know just picking this up that it's not going to be a huge hoppy craft ale type beer. It is a craft ale, it is a craft beer, but it's not going to be your kind of your big smashing bold new world beers that St. Austell can brew. This is more of a session strength beer and it's a very good one at that. What does the brewer say about it? Uh, a blend of rich toasted malt flavours balanced with fruity spice hops combined for a beer worthy of the famous Cornish heavyweight boxer Ruby Jack Bob Fitzsimmons. In those honour the beer is named. Ruby Jack, I didn't know that, but perhaps if you're down that way, you'd probably know that straight away. So I like a bit of boxing myself. I'm looking forward to the new film. If you're watching this in two years' time, it's been out for a while. Uh, Creed 2 is coming out. So uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a Rocky fan. Um, Creed and Creed 2, I like all that kind of stuff. 
a bit corny, but there you go. Um, so yeah, I like a bit of boxing, a bit of fake boxing on the, <laughs> from the films. Uh, let's, let's rate this wonderful, wonderful balanced beer. Nice lacing on the glass, easy, easy drinking beer. Nice, rich, malty, well conditioned, balanced. Yeah, you could chuck away four or five of them quite easily. Rating. For me, it's very solid for the Ruby Red Ale, the Red Ale. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.